Hey everybody, Raul here for Bass Musician Magazine and have I got great news for you. I'm so excited to tell you we have a giveaway. Yay! So, the great folks from Bite Guitars, Mark Bass, and Music Nomad Equipment Care have put together a prize package that comes in just under two grand. So it's an amazing prize package. Let's talk about some of the details. To start out with, Bite Guitars, you can build your own custom bass. When have you ever seen anything like that? Anytime there's been a giveaway, you get the bass as is. This time, you can go into the Byte Guitars configurator and you can select 15 different parameters to make this bass special to you. So, so here we have the Byte Custom Bass Configurator. And as you can see, the first choice we have, number one, is the model. And you have choices between P bass, J bass or combination kind of PJ and I think I would like to go with a jawbone PJ that looks like it'd be cool so you've seen it now that's what we're seeing at the top of the page here as we scroll down to the next touch since it's not holding it there our image is on that upper right hand corner and we can look at the finish now really nice thing about this is you can give it different colors let's see what it would look like in black that's pretty nice. That looks pretty sleek. How about if we did a cherry burst? That's not bad either. Let's try caramel. And oh, let's live on the edge. Oh, candy apple red. Okay. I don't have a red base, so this would be the one I'd make. Next, pick up position and color. You can go with this uh, the branded ones. You can go with the whites. You can go with the black, standard, or in this different position and I like to put them in a standard position I think I'll go with black that looks great next nut width if you look at the short distance across the fretboard it's kind of tight you widen it up a little bit I think I'd like it that way better at the 41.9 millimeter nut width for the fretboard you have choices between maple and black locust and if you're going, gee, I see how it looks with maple, but how would it look with the black locust? Let's try it. That's kind of cool. With the pearl blocks, that's nice too, but you know, I think I like maple, and I think I want to go with blocks there. So that's going to look really nice. We do that. Next, let's look at the nut, and you can go with either natural bone or graph tech, white or black. I think going with black is going to make it all fit nicely so we'll keep that going there now the other thing that everybody sees is the pit guard it started with the black which looks great but you kind of go what would it look like if uh, let's say we did white eh, I don't think I care for it as much there white pearl if I would have gone with the pearl blocks on the fretboard maybe that would look good let's see what black pearl looks like well that's kind of interesting uh, let's go with tortoise like that. How about something that blends in with red? That's really nice looking as well. Uh, funky gold. See, you can try all kinds of things and envision what they're going to look like. I think I'm going to go with that dark tortoise. Next, we want to go with the control knobs. And I'm really digging kind of the chrome, but let's say I wasn't sure, wanted to see what it would look like with the white knobs. And those are not bad, but I'm thinking going with these chrome, that's going to look really sharp there. Because I'm going with chrome, I'm going to go with the chrome control plate on the back as well, the neck plate. And tuning machines, I'm going to stay with the topic, but, and I like these chrome wise, but what would it look like with clover? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with those clover tuners get to the bridge since I'm going with chrome I'm sticking with chrome so we're keeping that goto steel bridge strap buttons vintage chrome would be my choice I like those we get down to screw color now this is kind of neat because the screw color right now on the pit guard they kind of give you an accent when it blends with that tortoise what happens if I go with black well that's kind of nice they kind of don't stand out as much and it lets you see the pit guard there Next, 
let's go with the wiring and I'd go with the snap connections. That way, if I want to make any changes down the road, I can do that. And last but not least, strings. I've got some Diodarios on some of my other bases. I've been liking those, but flats. I think this would go great with flats. So we're going to do Labella flats on this one. Now that I've got it figured out and I'm looking at it, if I want to go back, I can change anything, but I want to go to the share button. We'll click on this. And it's got this information for my specific base. This is what I want to copy. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to paste that into my entry in the sweepstakes. And that's going to show that this is the base that I configured that I want to win. If I'm lucky, this would be the base I would get. Isn't that cool? When you set up your own configuration, that is worth five entries. So a lot of entries there. Take your time, put together your dream base. You could win it, and that would be fabulous. Now, Mark Base, it's got a vintage preamp. This is their new tube preamp pedal with real true bypass. It's going to give you a wide palette of tone options from modern sounds to vintage ones and a lot of other features. And it's a nice compact size, so a lot of delicious sounds and power from that preamp from Mark Bass. Then Music Nomad Equipment Care has an amazing setup kit. Now, with my experience with bike guitars, most likely your bass is going to be amazing right out of the box. So I don't know that you're going to be able to use any of these things on it. But if you do, or if you have other bases like I do, that you need to tweak, you need to work on them, you want them to get them just perfect, they've put together this amazing setup kit that has a six-piece precision gauge plus three tool sets, 26-piece screwdriver and wrench set, 11-piece truss rod wrench set, and five-piece diamond-coated nut file sets along with a 24-page instruction manual because this is a lot to use to help you refine your setup, get things exactly as you want them. So An amazing custom base made per your specs, a Mark Base preamp, and all the gear you could possibly need to set up your own bases and instruments and tweak things. This is an amazing giveaway. If you want to know how to enter, Go to BassMusicianMagazine.com, look for the Win tab at the top of the page, you click on that, and you're going to find this, which will have all the instructions how you can get as many entries as you can to improve your chances of winning this amazing prize. It's important to point out that this is for the continental U.S. only. Again, I'm sorry, rest of the world, there are legal restrictions that keep us from doing them, but at least there's going to be some happy bass player in the U.S., but it is also void where prohibited. There's even some places in the U.S. where you can't qualify for this prize. So look into your own local rules and regulations and see if you could be perhaps a lucky winner. We'd hate for somebody to win it and then not be able to actually get it because of the rules in their area. So the Bite and Friends Custom Bass Build Your Own Bass Giveaway, coming to you from Bass Musician Magazine, Bite Guitars, Mark Bass, and Music Nomad Equipment Care. Best of luck to everybody. Get in it to win it.